Today we will discuss about three domains of life in the living world of zoology. In the zoology we are going to see. So as we have seen the need for classification and so many classification has been given but the three domain classification was given by Coral Ooze in 1977. So the three domains are classified into Archaea, Bacteria, Eukarya, Archaea, Extremophilus, Methanogen, Halophils, Dermoacidophils. So Archaea means the bacteria, it is also a type of bacteria but live in extreme weather condition that is extreme environmental condition the bacteria can leave. Methanogen, methane, the bacteria need methane, how we need oxygen. Like that the bacteria need methage, methane for his, for to leave the life. Okay. And halophils. So halophils are the salt condition, extreme salt condition. So that is called halophils. Dermoacidophilus, high temperature. So the bacteria which live in extreme condition is called archaea, methanogen, halophils, dermoacidophilus. So they are, they are also called as extremophilus, extreme condition of the environmental weather condition. The next domain is bacteria, cyanobacter, eubacter, beneficial and pathogen. So the bacteria is a prokaryote. Pro means single, first formed. Okay, pro means first formed nucleus. No well developed organelles are seen. So it is it is called bacteria and this you can see cyanobacter, eubacteria and some of the bacteria are beneficial that is like curd. So curd that is when you put a little curd in a milk, the milk changes to curd due to the presence of bacteria, lactobacillus. Okay, so that is a beneficial one and it is also called as probiotic. It it synthesizing the antibodies, the antibiotics in our body for that it creating the probiotic which is protein -nicious also. So the curd contains so many proteins, so rich proteins. Eukarya, you means true nucleus. Caria means nucleus, true nucleus. So protista, fungi, plants and animals are Seen in eukarya, they are well developed nucleus and well cellular bound, bound organelles. So the first domain is archaea. As I have discussed about the archaea in the previous slide, I will read it. You get an idea. This domain includes single cell organisms, the prokaryotes, which have the ability to grow in extreme conditions. So extreme condition means high temperature, high cold, high salt condition, high heat. So these are the extreme condition the bacteria can leave. So example volcano vents, hot springs and polar ice caps. There the bacteria will leave. That bacteria is called archaea and they are also called as extremophilus. The next one, Dermo aquaticus. So this bacteria leave that is can tolerate high temperature and the PCR you know we are we are talking about PCR which is used to test the coronavirus and this PCR that is DNA polymerase enzyme this is used in the PCR technique polymerase chain reaction okay so this DNA polymerase is taken from Dermo aquaticus so they may ask in one mark in your board exam and in your NEET exam also. So remember Dermus aquaticus is an example for archaea which live in high temperature. Okay, high temperature from this uh, DNA polymerase uh, enzyme that is DNA polymerase enzyme is uh, isolated and now this DNA polymerase enzyme that is used in the PCR technique. 
so we know that pcr polymerase chain reaction are the test to confirm whether the corona is there in your or body so that test is using now domain bacteria so as i say discuss about bacteria the bacteria is a prokaryote pro means primitive or first nucleus so and the nucleus don't have any shape so it is called as nucleoid and well developed new cellular organelles are absent in bacteria so no cellular organelles only ribosome is present that 270s type okay and the dna is circular that is the chromosomes in the dna that is the chromosomes in the bacteria is circular shape and this chromosome doesn't have histones next the domain eukarya eukaryotes eu means true karyotes means nucleus true nucleus well developed nucleus cell bound organelles organelles like mitochondria golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum vacuoles these and are present and well developed one the examples are plants and animals fungi these and all comes under the domain eukarya so here they had given the, the uh, various types of classification we come across the first one is three domain classification that is three domain system archaea bacteria and eukarya the next one is the famous the famous five kingdom classification which was given by with taker monera protista monera protista fungi plantae animalia and the six kingdom class system that is the six kingdom system bacteria archaea protista fungi plantae animalia and the next one is the last one is seven kingdom classification so that is you carry that is you bacteria archi bacteria protozoa chromist protozoa chromista chromista and fungi plants and animals so these are the four types of kingdom plant kingdom plant that is classification animal and plant kingdom classification and we will see the five kingdom classification in detail so the first one is monera the cell type here is prokaryotic pro means first formed nucleus cell wall is maybe cell wall is no cellular so there is no cellular so it is not covered by cell wall and the body organization is cellular only cell one one, one cell is there that is cell mode of nutrition autotrophic or heterotrophic autotrophic means it can prepare its own food that is auto means self food it can prepare its own food heterotrophic means it has to depend on another organism hetero means different for orga food organism trophic means for food it has to depend on different organism so the next one is protista so cell type is eukaryotes and the cell wall that is the cell wall is may be present or absent presenta in some sorry it is not absent it present in some body organization is cellular mode of uh, nutrition is uh, auto and heterotrophic fungi so fungi it is eukaryote cell wall is present that is cellular organization is mul that is multicellular tissue and it is heterotrophic fungi is an plant but it depends on another organism for food because it doesn't have chloroplast okay and the next one is plants so plants is the cell cell type is cell type is eukaryote cell wall is present body organization is tissue organ mode of nutrition is autotrophic 
anemia uh, that is eukaryote only cell wall absent tissue organ and organ system heterotrophic so these are the main that is main type main properties characteristics of the five kingdom classification they classified into five types that is monera protista fungi and plants and animals based on the characteristics that is uh, cell type cell wall body organization and mode of nutrition thank you for watching the video if you like the video give a thumbs up if you have any doubts post your doubts in your comment box if you if you like share and subscribe to science easy tech